although I appear right side up, <laughs> that's not the way the image falls upon the light sensitive part of your eye called the retina. On that screen, I'm inverted upside down, but your brain takes that image and turns it right side up. And in this activity, we're going to look at light rays, how they behave by building a very simple device called a pinhole viewer. For this project, what you'll need is a simple paper cup. Also, a push pin. We're gonna have to punch a hole, pinhole in that cup. Also, a small piece of wax paper and make sure the paper is not wrinkled. It needs to be flat and smooth. Plus, an ordinary elastic. Okay, here are the steps. Very simple and easy. First, take that paper cup and punch a pinhole right in the bottom, just like that. Fantastic. Next step is we're going to take that wax paper sheet and place it over the mouth of the cup. Pull it so that it forms a tight drum-like seal on the top, and then we'll take our rubber band and place the rubber band over that. And we'll adjust it a little to make sure that that drum-like top is flat. And there you have it. This is a pinhole viewer. Now the first mistake that most people make when they try and look through one of these viewers is that they try and look through the pinhole as if it was a telescope. Uh-uh, that's not the way these work. In order for you to see an image, you have to turn it around so that the pinhole faces your subject. And then what you'll see is the subject projected upside down on this wax paper sheet right here. So if we were looking at a subject, for instance, the window, which is perfect because it's bright and your room should be dark, you'd hold, you'd hold this cup just like this with the pinhole facing that window, you'd look right at that wax paper screen and you'd see an inverted image of the subject. Very cool. It's a fun, simple, and easy building activity that explores the science of light.